Hello, I'm Stephen Crozier, CEO of Reenergize, based in London and Montreal. Reenergize is developing a pumped hydro energy storage solution called High Density Hydro, which is low cost and globally scalable. Our aim is to facilitate massive growth in zero carbon renewable energy. We all know that the world is increasingly seeing the damaging effects of climate change. We know that there is the solution in the form of renewable energy and we know that the problem with renewable energy is that of intermittency. We also know that the only solution to intermittency is long duration energy storage. Commentators from across the world state that the energy storage market is going to grow rapidly and be huge. Lithium ion batteries are a great solution for short durations, but they are not the solution for long duration energy storage. Bloomberg have just updated their predictions on growth for energy storage, increasing their prediction by over 25%. There are very few markets where growth is predicted to be tenfold in seven years and perhaps 40-fold in 17. Energy storage is a trillion dollar opportunity. However, the key pain that needs to be solved is not technological, but one of scalability. In order for the energy transition to succeed, we need a massive amount of energy storage. The winning solutions will be able to scale with large volumes quickly and globally. Conventional pumped hydro is low cost, a proven technology and has a huge advantage in its global presence. But while it makes up virtually all of the installed storage capacity deployed in the last century, it is not expected to play such a significant role in the energy transition Projects just take too long to consent and construct. Reenergize has introduced a high density, low viscosity, environmentally benign fluid into a closed loop hydropower like system. The fluid, we call R19, has a density two and a half times the density of water, more than the density of concrete. The advantages of a high density fluid are that the vertical elevation or the project's volumetric size can be reduced by up to 60% which in turn means several orders of magnitude more siting opportunities and faster, smaller, cheaper to build projects. Our value proposition is to bring innovation to pumped hydro storage to make it highly scalable while preserving its best in class economics and leveraging the existing global supply and knowledge base. Our solution, we call it high density hydro. When we think of traditional pumped hydro, we think of massive projects far from generation and demand, projects in protected mountainous areas needing large volumes of water abstraction. Traditional pumped hydro is low cost, but it's not scalable fast enough. Re-energized projects can be installed on small hills found nearly everywhere. This is what a typical site might look like, rather than massive projects in protected mountainous areas. High density hydro is based on traditional pumped hydro, only better. It maintains the low costs, increases the number of sites available, while also dramatically reducing consenting and construction times. Reenergize proposed projects in the 20 megawatt to 80 megawatt scale with four to 16 hours of storage. The consultancy firm Jacobs developed a method for comparing different solutions for long duration energy storage they called it the unit cost of firm generation. It takes energy costs from renewables and then analyzes the costs for creating firm generation using an energy store. Lithium ion batteries are competitive until around three hours of storage and then other forms of storage become lower cost. The analysis shows that if pumped hydro is a solution, it is consistently and by a large margin, the lowest cost method of creating firm supply from renewables. Jacobs predict at 12 hours duration, the gap between the cost of firm generation between pumped hydro and lithium ion batteries will be greater than 200 pounds per megawatt hour. Reenergize analysis shows that our unit cost of firm generation would closely follow that of traditional pumped hydro and with commoditization fall below these costs. In every country we look, there are tens of thousands of sites. Our surveys for North America indicate 340,000. 
High density hydro is even a solution for hot and arid climates where lack of water makes traditional pumped hydro impossible. Reenergize has identified 6,600 sites in the UK and 116,000 sites across Europe. There are no shortage of sites for high density hydro. In the UK, only around 300 high density hydro projects would provide 25% of the UK's predicted 2040 energy storage needs. This is achievable in 17 years. The top two images show our first UK project location at an operational mine in the southwest. It is a 500 kilowatt, one megawatt hour project with a head of 85 meters. Head is the vertical elevation difference. The lower pictures are a physical test site location in Canada. We are actively seeking partners for projects and investment in other countries. The UK Department Bays describes short duration storage as less than four hours, used for balancing and fast flexibility. Medium duration is four to 12 hours, while long duration is greater than 12 hours for multi-day and seasonal balancing. Analysis shows that the vast bulk, perhaps up to 80% of the energy shifting volume will occur in the medium duration segment to balance the daily cycles of solar and the twice weekly cycles of wind. In the duck chart, each line represents the net load, equal to normal load minus renewable generation. The belly of the duck represents the period of lowest net load where renewable generation is at its maximum. The belly grows as renewable generation installations increase. The duck chart also points to the period of overgeneration risk, which results in curtailed energy. At this point, system inertia margins become too small. In the future, in a fully renewable scenario, the belly would continue to grow to a point where the belly must supply all other times and solutions for grid stability, which is not coal or gas power stations, i.e. is not thermal, will be required. Wind and solar value capture declines over time. Congestion and generation timing cause wind value decline, while solar value decline is primarily due to generation timing. To maximise value fundamentally means a project owner must do one of two things. Transmit to regions where time of generation is different or generation is provided by more expensive sources. This realistically means new grid distribution infrastructure. Or alternatively, the owner must change the apparent generation profile to further include hours when the sun does not shine or the wind does not blow. Modelling by Habitat Energy in 2018, before the current market craziness, was already showing declining solar value capture. This can be regularly seen on the UK grid, where at times solar dramatically reduces capture prices. It is clear that increasing a project's capacity relative to the grid connection, increasing its shoulders, as is said in the industry, can only go so far. The greater this practice occurs, the lower the benefit, as shoulder capture prices will also decline. To increase capture prices, the dispatch shape of the project must change so that higher prices can be realised. The only way to achieve so that the owner of the project is in control is by the inclusion of energy storage. As variable renewable energy penetration increases on the grid, Short durations of storage of an hour or two will fail to capture full value. The most value will be captured by those with longer duration solutions like re-energizers. We suggest that by 2030, any project with either no storage or minimal storage will fail to capture good value from their generation assets. We also suggest that it would be a mistake not to include long duration energy storage assets in any project in development today. There are many ways to compare different types of technologies and solutions to the flexibility challenge. This table compared solutions across grid and ancillary services. 
We have added high density hydro to this analysis by AFRI where services can be supplied across the spectrum. While this table compares costs, impact, scalability and speed to deploy, however one looks at high density hydro, it compares extremely favourably against other solutions. Reenergize was founded by four serial entrepreneurs. We are growing our senior management team and rapidly increasing diversity. Our board includes our chair, who is the MD of a major Central European Renewables Investment Fund. Our team includes four PhDs, two chartered accountants, one associate professor and two MBAs, and the vast majority of our team hold master's degrees. We are headquartered in London with our technology centre in the heart of the North American hydropower industry in Montreal. We lead academic partnerships with three universities. In this slide, it's some of our facilities in use. Our progress has been rapid, which continues to accelerate. Our most recent notable achievements include a field demonstration in Montreal that proved our core technology hypothesis in the field. We have had our first patent granted with a second due at any time. In the last six months, we have been awarded three further grants with a total value of nine and a half million pounds, which in addition to the scale and the predicted growth of the market, the strength of our team, all helps to make Reenergize a highly attractive investment proposition. Reenergize are currently an early stage company. We raised 823,000 at the beginning of 2021, plus 90,000 from founders, and also 800,000 pounds of grants. In 2022, we raised 1.3 million from an advanced subscription agreement and have had nine and a half million pounds of further grants awarded. We are currently launching a second seed round on Crowdcube with the aim of one and a half million in advance of a larger eight million pound Series A round next year. We have corporate advisors appointed. If you are interested in either the second seed round or the Series A or even the potential for a project, please get in touch or please invest. Reenergize have the solution for scalable long duration energy storage to address a trillion dollar market. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.